Hey besties and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay Johnson and in today's video we're going to be doing a blush swatch party which is different for me because it's just been lipsticks, lipsticks, lipsticks but we're going to actually swatch these new liquid, no no no, cream blushes from Moira Beauty which is a indie brand that I really enjoy, their eyeshadows anyway. And you guys, before we jump into this, I really, really needed to show you guys this shade right here. It's their liquid eyeshadow in the shade Eye Contact. And you guys, first of all, this is what she looks like. $8.50, right? Keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you. I had to pick it up too because it just really caught my attention. And you guys, look at how beautiful that is. There's like a sparse area, let me fill it. Right there. So you can definitely build it up too, and once it dries down, it does not transfer a lot, so I love that about it as well. It's really high shine, very, very sparkly and beautiful. I'm really, really obsessed. I was gonna put it on today, but I wanted to be more, you know, laid back with the neutral, a little bit more subtle, and so I didn't go in with that one, but you guys, I'm gonna use that in one of my next upcoming videos because it is gorgeous, you guys. So I had to shout that out really quickly if you guys are interested, of course not sponsored. I just really needed to show you that because that is so freaking pretty, so pretty. But I hopped on their website and I wanted to just quickly say that if you did want to get every single shade and you do love every shade, it would be $44 instead of paying $51 in their bundle. But if you wanted to pay for, you know, individual, maybe only like two or three shades, it'd be $8.50 each, which... That's not bad if these are really good quality because you guys already know stuff is expensive. It's getting even more expensive every single day. So it's nice and refreshing to have an $8.50 cream blush, especially if it's really good quality. So let's jump right in. I am really, really excited. I don't have any blush on, as you guys can tell, and I'm just ready to put this on my face. So this is shade 01, which is called I Respect You. These nails make it so hard to function, you guys. Ah! So we're tearing now. Ooh, okay, so this reminds me of the colored rain ones. I think it looks similar to this, but I actually like this packaging a little bit more. So I think that's really cute, and I love that even though like someone could probably try to say it's clear, they don't like that. At the end of the day, I do because I know exactly what shade I'm getting. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you could try to call it cheap if you want, but I feel like it's really cute. You see exactly what you're getting. It's not difficult, especially if you have a big collection like I do. So I actually appreciate this and ooh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a sw <gasps> Oh, you guys, that was way more emollient than I was expecting. Okay, wow, wow, okay. So you could probably also get away with putting this on your lips if you wanted as well. I think that'd be really pretty. That scared me a little bit, like how intense that was. Um, that's really pretty though. Oh my gosh, but look how emollient. Okay. Dang, you do not need a lot, you guys. Let me just say that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pat it on the back of my hand. I'm going to suggest that with these because I'm already knowing the deal now because I'm like, whoa, okay, 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 okay. Backtrack, backtrack. Okay, thank goodness I touched it first instead of putting this in there. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and pop that right on the cheek. Cute, okay. <laughs> I think that's really, really pretty. Okay. You know what? It's not as crazy though as I was thinking. It blended out really, really easily. And I ended up using everything that was on the back of my hand. So that's really good. I'm going in with a little bit more just to see how intense we can get it. Usually at this point I would stop, but for the sake of the video, I just really want you guys to see that pigment and to see how buildable this shade can get, which as you see, it can get pretty, pretty intense or you can keep it a little more subtle. 
Oh, yeah. So it does leave like that dewy finish. You guys know what this is giving me. You guys knew, know the um, the new Danessa Myricks lip and cheek. It's kind of giving me like that kind of vibe. Which I don't mind because that palette is $40. So if you buy the whole bundle for $40... You get more shades, that's pretty great in my opinion. Obviously, I won't know how like these wear throughout the day and stuff like that, but yeah, definitely these are more emollient though, I will say, than the Danessa one, so be mindful of that. But these are really, really cute. On to the next shade. This one is shade 02, I Need You. Cute names. Using the other side of this blender and just going in. Okay. All right. Definitely a lot of pigment with these blushes for sure. But they blend really, really easily, I will say. I will say, wow, I love, 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 love this one too. Stunning. I'm actually kind of feeling this one now a little bit more. Maybe it's because I just have less though on this side, which is how I'd usually keep it. Ooh, woo. So the next shade is 03 I Want You. And I'm actually just going to put this one on the nose. Very, very orangey blushy. Ooh, okay. So here we go. Oh, be careful. Be careful. That's cute though. Ooh, I love. It looks very orangey and intense in the pan, but once you do apply it onto the nose, you can sheer it out and give that really, really beautiful peachy finish. I know I look crazy, okay, with like the darker blush, the lighter blush, the orangey blush, but at the end of the day, it is for the purpose of this video. And I really, really think that looks gorgeous. Wow, that's probably my new favorite. Definite favorite. I, I really love that one. I'm, I'm really feeling that shade. Yes, 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 yes. But for shades four through six, I'm going to swatch those on the back of my hand. But if you guys do want to see them all on the face, let me know and I'll create a real. No, 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 not real. Short, a short. It's so hard to like keep up with like all of the new names for stuff because all of these social medias are really just blending together you know they're doing their own thing but at the same time like they're they're taking a little bit from here a little bit from there you know what I'm saying so let me know if you guys want a short but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one right here which is in the shade 04 called I adore you I adore you that's what comes to mind when I hear that but um oh it's just so 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 emollient so thick so creamy uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Whoa, whoa. I just burped, so I have no idea what I just said. I'm gonna have to cut that whole part out. But basically, what I was saying is that if you like really vivid in your face shades, you should really like this. And even if it's not your thing, you might still like it. Because, like I said earlier, you can really go in sparingly or at the same time, like they are pigmented. But even if you do have like a big amount of pigment, you can really sheer it out really easily and effortlessly, in my opinion. So I don't think you would hate it. It's just. It really does depend. If this is your tone, you'll probably like it. If it's not, you probably won't. I haven't seen anything I'm too scared of, but I feel like it's coming. <laughs> 05 is called I Love You. I love that they made this shade I Love You because it's like a very red, beautiful, in-your-face shade. It totally makes sense. It's so romantic looking. Like, look at that. That is scrumptious. I just want to lick it. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that right underneath. Yeah, that's really special. That one is making the one above it look approachable. So, I don't know. I feel like I will like it, though, because at the end of the day, red is a really sexy, fun color. I just have to go in real, real light-handed with that one because... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm. Let's see on the back of the hand if we can shear that one out and what it looks like, though. That's what we can do. Yeah, you just definitely got to be careful with that one. But you can share it out, but like go on with way less than I did for sure. For sure. Or I don't know what's going to happen. Mm. I'm saying if you have like a similar skin tone to me, 
I don't know. But I love that they gave such a wide variety. I would love to see them come out with like more colors. I feel like this is like a perfect little roundup though. I really love the, sh the colors they chose. Ooh, and number six is I Miss You, which is like a really, really bubblegum pink. Isn't that what you call this? It's very, very different, unique to my collection. I don't think I have a blush like this. This is what she looks like. Super pretty, very like pinky purple toned. Definitely giving the vibes though. I just don't know if it's going to be for me. I am happy I didn't put this one on the face today because it probably would have had me looking a little crazy, not gonna lie. I don't know though, maybe on the face. Let's go ahead and share this one out. Let's see what that looks like. So this is what we're left with, you know? It could be really freaking pretty, honestly. I think I'm sleeping on these type of blushes. I hear good things about them, and I know they're really, really popular. I just don't know if it's my journey, if it's my vibe, you know, but definitely something, something for sure. So yeah, besties, that was all of the swatches of every single blush from the new Moira collection. Now, I really, really love the blushes. If I had to pick my two top favorites, let me see. I would have to say shades 02 and 03 really, really did it for me. 01 is also really pretty. 04 I love as well. That one is a little bit hot though, very vivid. But at the end of the day, maybe on the face, it wouldn't be so punchy. 05 the rose or no no sorry red shade I really love that I just have to see how it applies onto the face I feel like I have a pretty good understanding for the formula though so I feel like any of these blushes you can either wear sheer or you can really really build that up which I love because that means it's gonna really stretch amongst a lot of different skin tones because it's going to be very like elastic in the sense of you can keep it this little or you can keep it this big as far as the amount of pigmentation so I I really really love these I feel like they're super pretty if you do like a glow from within I don't want to say 100% these are Danessa Myrick's dupes because I would need to play with those a little bit more but I was like really really blown away by how emollient thick and creamy and just like kind of like I don't want to say like sweaty, but they were like very, very um, moist in there. You know what I'm saying? So I was not expecting that, but I think it really did a great job on the face. I feel like this looks really pretty, very, very radiant, and I don't know. I actually think I really like these. Leave down in the comments below whatever shade you guys would pick up, whatever shade you guys enjoyed on me. I hope you guys aren't too upset that I didn't swatch every single shade on the face. It's just that I have other stuff I have to do today, so I really can't do my makeup again but again if you guys want to see me put every single shade on the face let me know and I'll do a short 100% I love you guys and thank you so much for watching I hope this was helpful in any way shape or form and I'll see you in the next one besties bye